Smoke and Mirrors, episode two. Let's jump into this one. Super excited, man. Mr. Toad. <gasps> Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, Rude. hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. She was so pretty, man. Aww. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. You're gonna tell me right now. I'm... Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and... <laughs> They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking laptop. Come sniffing around this park. Rich fucks in the woods need to take that. Yeah, right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. So who's the one that died? I'm a little confused because Snow has blue eyes, but I think I just saw or at least realized that the person who died at the end of the chapter one had green eyes. So is that Beauty that died? Or was it Snow that died? I'm not sure. I guess we're gonna get a second look at it right here. Mr. Wolf! Oh, never mind. He was just daydreaming or something. That's definitely Snow. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, is he under investigation? Home, maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. Uh, you look like you could use some rest. I need to find the killer. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Uh, you know, you I don't, hate I don't to think say you do. it, but I don't think you do. Of course. She you, was in love with her. You're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Why am I under investigation, though? What is it? I just it found the body. The body. I'm always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. That is pretty messed up. <clears throat> Like, really messed up, actually. Your nose is bleeding. Uh... Are you okay? Are you... okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something... Oh no. Please. Supersonic? Please. Sounds? Oh my god. Her head is gonna explode. Oh, someone's dying over there. I'm sorry. Just make it stop. Please. Oh my god, that's horrible. I can only imagine how bad that might feel. 
That was definitely some supersonic sounds or something. We have to go now. Uh, what did you do to her? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Hold on. Okay, what? So what does he have the, uh, to do with all this? That's the mayor. But ironically though, just forgetting everything isn't gonna be enough once they start digging through the files. Start realizing that, uh, somebody died. I hope he gives me an explanation. I'm so confused on why he did this. <clears throat> it's a lot of clearing of throats. Let's see, uh... Uh, I don't know what to say. Let's just ignore him. We, uh... Found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. Yeah, I would and agree he's with Square. To the point of confession. He was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his babbling just must have had some sort of accomplice. I'm actually not so sure about that. I think he's you a suspect, he's but not involved. a super strong one. Neither is Tweedledee or Tweedledum. Whenever she was left at the stairs. Yes, but all that means is he didn't do it alone. It's possible, to be fair. It is possible that he had an accomplice. But recent events plus what he said seems to add up Pretty I know well. what you're thinking, Big So I don't think he's a strong suspect. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Miss her? He treated her like shit. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this uh, is really happening. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. That's true. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... Um, she wanted to change I things. I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. Hopefully at least I don't her know what death else helps say, Crane have to change. Have to put an end to this. Well, that's true. That's something we could agree with. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. That's true. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. Oh, he is pissed. As I can. Right to an attorney. The Woodland Luxury Apartments basement afternoon. Sailor John said I. And away, you Santi, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance? Loki, I kind of feel bad for him now. Sharp, Woodland. You have visitors. He's not off the hook, Why though. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. 
Barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve It's a... hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. So he was Come one of the suspects help. of because White, I of think Snows. I have a secure handle on things. I'll take it from here. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Yeah, his methods are barba barbaric. Story, I can <laughs> tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. Uh, what he... That you, Bigby? It is. I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Well, let's see. Save your energy. Uh, we'll let's have a chat first. We're gonna, all right? But we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this blue dandy. <laughs> I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let me see, uh... Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. Why did you run? Back at the bar, why'd you run? Look, I got nothing to say, so just, just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? You shut Take up. Take care of it. Get the hell out what of here, dude. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. <sighs> what did you tell him? We'll we will just do whatever it takes to find the killer. Just talk. Yes. I just want to talk, see what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Big B. How about you two get out of here? You guys are just getting in my way. To you, of course. Okay. I think he might be leaving, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> Let me see. I have. I have to. Well, let's show him the picture. This might inspire him. Uh, show it to the woodsman. You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me why you ran now? I don't know what to tell you. I ran because I didn't want trouble. I didn't kill that girl. I have no damn clue what's going on. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly Ooh. take that for? Yeah, he that's knows a... knows what's happening. That's a pretty right. revealing that's statement. Something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? <laughs> Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Okay, this is very revealing. Where's, where's my stuff? You're not no going smoke. nowhere. <laughs> you took my smokes. We uh, confiscated his belongings for the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Some cigarettes and Nothing alcohol? To speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. I really want them to leave. So here, uh, talk to me. I'm not gonna punch him. What about some, uh, let's, let's level with him. Maybe a change of tone might help ease his mind into talking. So I understand what you're feeling. Where was Snow supposed to be? We can't leave until you talk. Woodsman. You've got to talk to me, because Crane and Bluebeard, they think you're shit. But you think I don't know what that feels like, to be the bad guy? To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night? I like this answer. Yeah, I know you do, Wolf. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. I like I mean, this what you approach. Meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I I can't. Just leave it alone. If you talk, maybe it would help I don't your want situation. To talk about it. Just don't waste 
Uh, time. Todd, just Would talk you to just me. Just tell us what you know, so you can go home. I didn't. I didn't say snow. Okay. I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She. That's it. Not snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? Oh man. I I can't get into it. Is he talking about Faith? Uh Help me help you. Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? Help me help you, Woody. Let me get you out of here. I'm getting pretty sleepy, Sheriff. Looks like your good cup game is played out. Okay, then. Uh, well, what? We'll, you're better than this. Let's just continue on this. this Woody. Just help us. I tell you something if there was something to tell. Come on, Big B. You have other options. Use them. It's obvious he's not giving anything up this way. He'll break eventually, man. Just give me something to work with, bro. It's like, look, I know we were enemies by trade, <laughs> by storytelling, if you will. But in this situation, dude, we actually have a lot of commonalities, man. We're both... I don't think he's the killer, man. I think he's hiding something important. But realistically, dude, we have a lot in common, man. We're both mislabeled as bad guys because of our situation in the past and our current situation and his situation. So, uh... Yeah, just give me something, man. Come on, just give us something to go on here. You say you had nothing to do with it, then prove it. Agreed. I don't know what you think I know, but there's just... There's nothing there, Sheriff. This isn't working, Big B. Go away. I think he's making it worse. Work with me, and you can go. This would go a lot quicker if you stopped blaming me for the situation you're in. This ain't my fault. I can get you home, just... Work with me here. I tell you something, if there was something to tell. He knows more than this. He has to. I'm beginning to think he's just an idiot. Or both. Is this gonna... If I say just work with me, is that gonna be the same stuff as before? This would go a lot quicker if you stopped blaming me for the situation you're in. This ain't my fault. I can get you home. Just work with me here. I don't know what you think I know, but there's <laughs> yeah, just, it is. There's nothing there, Sheriff. This is going nowhere. So that I don't want to punch him. Okay, so I've exhausted all of the good cop stuff. Uh, Square. Who are you talking about, huh? Who? That was my own fault. It's not about the killings. It's not. So then, explain. Tell me who you're talking about. Who is... wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? Is this nothing. the same thing? It's nothing. This is pointless. He might not talk without some beatings. Okay, so it's grayed out, which means... I've probably exhausted that. So... Uh, do I want to take that approach? Here, let's exit real quick. And look at this Anyone? real quick. Maybe we could open up some new dialogues. You ever sober? Let me. Fat Vic. <laughs> let me get a swig of that. He's gonna drink it himself. Watch. Um. Let's give him a. Let's give him a drink. Son. This is not an approach I would take in real life, to be honest. I'd rather offer him a cigarette than an alcohol. But this might get him to start talking. Thanks. Plus, this isn't real law enforcement. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Woody, who wasn't supposed to be there? Come on, please talk. <gasps> Which girl? I can't. Just. Uh, just stop protecting the killer. Stop protecting whoever murdered these women. I don't care what your friends have told you. 
You have to tell us what's going on. The girl. It was... Oh. Faith. Oh, right. yes, I knew it. Faith. Faith? This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh... I don't know. Talk. Now. No one's behind anything. This... I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off. Okay. Let's uh check the cigarettes. Thanks. What does that say? Mam mammal lights? Uh, lights? I just mom smoking his cigarette. <laughs> um. This is. Really let's offer him one. What's the point of this? Look at this jackass. <coughs> Smoke and booze. Nowadays, I think that makes us old-fashioned. Who were you expecting? Please tell me. Lily. Who's Lily? Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Huh. Her sister's... Yeah. Her sister's a prostitute. Wait, what? I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't, don't tell anyone, Bigby. Gren and her, that whole bar, they just, they wouldn't understand. Is he clapping for me? Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. <laughs> this barbarian knows more than he's letting on. You can't continue to treat him like some stupid American wait. I got more information I out of him really in a couple of minutes than he did can. since then I got a, since no he got arrested. I'm sorry to uh, say this is working. My best is a whole lot better than this. He's talking, all right. My methods work fine. I agree. No, they don't. They're not working at all. How about you get out of here? Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this he needs right to do now. Something. Snow White get is out. dead. She was one of us. Actually, let's not grab him. Them. Forget that. He's being way out of hand. <laughs> Oh, way out of line. Oh. What's up, bro? This guy needs to be put down. Well, not like dead or anything, but like, he needs to be put in check. Who's this? Snow. Whoa, what? What's going on down here? Okay, I'm so lost. What? 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 Snow. What? What? <laughs> Whose head did we find then? What? Legitimately speechless right now. Oh my god, what happened? Does that mean Faith is possibly alive? Also somebody we need to talk to? is beauty she obviously knows something she was acting very suspicious before all of this started to happen oh my god dude what is going on i'm so lost what i mean i'm glad she's alive but I don't... What? <laughs> what the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Look, we thought you were dead. Abusing a prisoner like that. Oh, look. There you go. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? <laughs> you know what? You got a point there, but you got to... You... I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. I hope it was worth your time. 
Um, how are you not dead? Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. Me either. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. Uh... But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Let's stay quiet. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I wanted to... I wanted to hear her out, but I guess she wasn't going to continue talking. Snow? I guess what I misread it? that. Uh, I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. She's so pretty, man. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Um. It's not your fault. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. Yeah, I mean, it convinced me. That can't be a Well, all of us. We just have to find out who did this. Also, who and is the dead body? And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Um, we keep working. If we're going to work together on this, you need to actually talk to I me. I mean, pushed it too late. What do you oh, that sucks. Me to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting uh, for the big bad you've got it wrong. to solve all my problems? Snow. I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh, <laughs> she's right, but she needs to understand that he has feelings for her, I'm too. Sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. There's a difference. PJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Uh, I can, I can handle it. I can handle the kid. Okay. Man, I feel sorry for, well, I feel bad for Snow. Like, I understand her point of view. I gotta push pause real quick. Like, she needs to understand, too, is like, she may not, like, she may be able to handle herself. But that doesn't mean she's invincible either. Everyone, including the strongest men alive or women alive or just people in general, need help, right? Nobody's invincible in this world. And the fact that she says she can handle herself, that may or may not be true, however, doesn't necessarily mean that she won't end up like the person we thought was her to begin with. You know what I mean? So she shouldn't be alone, especially in a situation where she could possibly be a target. And at this point, it's very, very possible that she's a target, seen as, in her own words, they killed someone and dolled the body up, or the remains up, to look like Snow. So in this case, if I was Snow personally, ah, fuck that shit, dude. I would definitely have someone by my side at all times. Not because I'm scared or anything, but because my own safety is at risk. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop with this investigation or anything like that, but that means I'm gonna take extra precautions to be safe. And I think her, you know, empowerment, her uh, like little empowerment, you know, rant that she went on, it's nice and it's admirable that she can look out after herself, but she, again, she's not invincible. She, she needs to recognize that, you know what I mean? For her own safety. And to be fair, uh, Big B needs to at least acknowledge the fact that she's a very strong woman. And she clearly is, and we should work together on this. But yeah, okay, I'm going on a little rant. I really hope she's okay though, <laughs> mentally, because I'm sure that's that would have taken a, a, its toll on her, seeing a body that looks just like her. You know what I mean? All right, let's go. I hope, I hope what I said makes sense. 
TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Okay. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. I want... I kind of want to see the body first. So those are the cards. Wait, what is this? An assets. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. It, it might, it might be. It kind of looks like it. Let's look at what's over here. Perfume. Snow's perfume. Huh. Do they have something together? No, because she didn't really like the way he acts. All right, let's talk to the kid first, actually. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, finish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? Big B, you ready to apologize? What's going on? For hitting me in front of my boy. Did you fucking forget? I didn't, and neither did he. I kind of regret that a little bit, to be fair. TJ, I know you're scared. I'm going to need her help We would like to this. talk about what you found. That's okay with you. Uh. It's up to you, TJ. You can help us. It would really help us, TJ. I want to help. But he's scared. Don't roll your eyes, Watch man. He's just a kid. Baby. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Uh. I'm sorry I scared you. Sorry if I scared you. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Uh-huh. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good You're, you're not in trouble. You're, you're not, not in trouble, trouble. ma'am. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! The lady? <laughs> uh, comfort him. Okay, son. <laughs> oh, no. Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady... fell in. But... But she didn't have her head on. Oh. I thought that's traumatizing. I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause, cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark wait, part. Wait, wait, we know where the body is. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. So is the, there more, TJ? We know where the body is. Is it true? You know when people are lying. That's a very I weird thing to say. Do that. That's why you're the sheriff. It's magic. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I I didn't stay under the water. Uh oh. I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. He can't and be blamed for this. Help it. I gave you very specific rules. You uh, have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you're you. You're not in trouble, Toad. You're or TJ. in trouble. Look, Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait. You heard someone? Yeah, I know, right? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Uh, what I were the exact words? I be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. Okay, so we're getting someone. Uh... Did you see anyone? Did you see who it was? No! 
We got we got good information from here. Was someone laughing? Did you hear anyone laughing? No. So possibly possible derangement. All right. I guess that's enough for now. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home. That's all. I promise. I want to go home. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine, TJ. Go with okay. your dad. You can go. <laughs> oh, my heart, man. That's such a traumatizing you, thing TJ. for a little kid to see. Okay, son. Good job, TJ. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. I hope I did enough to rectify what I did before. I kind of regret that. I I never wanted to hit Toad, but I felt like my options were that limited. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Come on. You know, I, oh I should have possibly oh looked God. at the ma the magic mirror. I should have looked at the magic mirror. There was something definitely suspicious there. Oh man, I regret that. It all happened too fast. Oh well. What are you gonna do? By the body, is it just the head? No, it's the whole body. Wow, yeah, no, it looks just like her. Clothing and everything. That's, that's disturbing. Wow, I didn't realize. Are you okay? I've never seen her face before now. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine, it's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. She is very strong. But I think this this is definitely a lot for, for just any human being to take in. I don't know if she should be here, to be fair. Uh, I don't care who it is. This is a lot to take in. All right, let me see. Let's uh, examine the head. Check her mouth. That's very creepy. There might be a ribbon in there. That's actually a, that's actually a good point. Anything? Nothing. Can you hmm. close her mouth? Yeah, see, you can tell this is bothering her. Thanks. It's a lot to take in. Like, I don't blame her for this, man. I don't blame her at all. But it's a lot for any human being to see your own dead body. I mean, granted, it's not really her dead body, but... Man, this is a lot to take in, bro. Just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Uh, let's double check this again. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You it's the smell. Yeah, exactly. That's why I saw the bottle on your desk. Yeah, I, f I figured that was the case. He's the wolf. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. So she was choked? She was choked? It could be a hickey, though. Brotch. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell when it's a video game. You know what I mean? But it could be anything. Seeing as the position of the, the bruise, quote-unquote, it could... It actually lines up perfectly to a thumb from the right hand. Or it could possibly be a hickey because it, it lines up perfectly. So I, I don't know. Wow, that's a pretty unique brush. That's weird. I don't or brooch. Wear a brooch like that. Why bother with the right perfume if the appearance isn't completely accurate? Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Wow, that's interesting. Can I? Okay, so let's continue down. Scratch marks? What are these? 
I'm curious about these. These are like puncture wounds. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. I wouldn't have guessed Pretty track marks. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? But it's under the brooch dress too. area, so... Why would it change everything else? Uh... I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be failing? It might just be failing. I had to Glamours act quickly. Fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, hmm. it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. That's a... That's a... She's got something in her hand. I'm gonna go get to that in a second. I had to. I I kind of wish I had a little bit more time on the previous one. I didn't get to. I had to like act quickly because it was going down. I didn't want to have a situation where it auto picks for me, you know. So let's see the scratch marks. Rope marks. She was tied up. They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Man, that's that's crazy. All right, let's check out the. The the buttons, right. I guess. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. What? Uh. I need to open her coat. Snow. I need to open her coat. Big B, just let me. Yeah, that's fair. But it's a dead body, you know what I mean? And this is an investigation. There's nothing perverted behind this. Oh, there's the ribbon. It's her underwear. Uh, you still okay? You still okay? I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Uh, her glamour isn't perfect. Her glamour is defective. Oh. Defective. We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. He he agreed. We should keep going. That ribbon. That ribbon. Okay, I'm gonna get to that in a second. There's the perfume. Use what is this. That? It's labeled. She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. Exactly. So, someone gave her instructions. We might be able to track that. What do we have here? Is I've that a seen cork? Things like this before. It's definitely magic. Oh no, it's not. What is the that? Witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Quiet, Crane. Don't you think? Will you keep quiet? <laughs> He's just a mayor. He shouldn't get involved in the investigation. There's something in it. There's something in here. How do we open it? Uh. Not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Something to do with these rings here. Okay, so. Okay, so we have to line this all up. Okay, so that goes right there. That's it, right? Can I select it? Let's try to move it all up one. Huh. All right, let's try one more. We definitely have it lined up properly, but I guess we gotta find the right image, perhaps? There we go. A deer, 
What does that mean? Oh. Hair. A picture. Let's check out the hair first. Is that... It's your hair. What? That means someone had to have been close enough to her to get a piece of that. Rolled photograph. It might be... It might be the mayor. He would be a suspect, to be someone honest, of mine. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Big P? Uh oh. oh my God. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Uh. Yes, she's a troll. Yeah, she's a troll. Gotta keep our we heads. Move on. Who is she? On straight. That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all. Holly back is the bartender. Lines. She looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little. Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister Lily. The prostitute. She's reported missing, but I. I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Can Lily I finish investigating the body? Certainly another troll. That's a. We should go. Messed up you way to go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. It's up You'd to be snow. putting her life at risk. We can't lock her down. Come with me. I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. She's her own person. To be fair, she has every right to her own decisions, life, and safety, frankly speaking. But one thing I do think needs to happen though is that she needs to stay close to someone in this general. This thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. <laughs> I like how he just throws it on the ground. <laughs> Holly, I need entertainment. Does the guy on the left really want round two? This'll do. Uh. I need to talk to Holly. Holly you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White. I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Why Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Go away, dude. I need to talk to Holly. Because, you know, we were just talking about uh, you. All of us. At the bar. Not now, yeah. Jack. I'm really not in the mood right now. Oh, I didn't mean, well, I was in the I mood didn't mean it like that. Darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? How would he know oh, this? Everyone knows. The toad was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes. It's true. Why would you confirm so we this? Were just wondering why. It's an investigation. All the possible suspects in Fable Town. Why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? How do Maybe. you know that? Come on, you can't be so dumb as to. Jack, stick. find the off button now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all. Let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? He talks a lot. I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Both of, of you. Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Both of you. Listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Wait. Holly's sister has been missing for what? Let's... A few days now? 
And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hold on. Hey, easy. Ah, I didn't mean it like that. What'd I do? No, it's I... an honest question. I don't want to hit him. I don't want to hit him at all. Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Oh, he's, tell you. he's the Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk? All right, Jack. Actually... Have there been any updates? Let's be gentle. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Aww. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Oh, uh, don't make her feel guilty Where for this. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? I mean, he's got a point there, to be fair, you but... One ounce of a shit about her. About any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Give her some room. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and... I wish this had ended up better. It's okay, Holly. I mean, it's not okay, but I I understand. Ah, I can only imagine. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. <gasps> it should have been you, and it wasn't. Don't take that to heart. It's just her grieving. But to be fair, she might actually feel that way. <laughs> she hates us. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Copper was from a dream uh, of mine. It's very let's let him talk. And very old. It's quite lovely. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? There, yeah. I think staying quiet was a good call. They're talking, you know, female to female. I think she would be. I think Snow would be. I don't know that much. Better about equipped her life. for this. Honestly, we didn't talk often. Uh, she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why weren't you talking? Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just, I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. That's good to take in. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. She's giving us a lot. Uh, Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have pie? to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. <laughs> we can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Um, anything we can do? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? No, nah, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck uh, us soul. Up. I guess. Of course. Okay. Good. 
Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? I, I hope, I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping that I can uh, I'll go down extract there some more evidence. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Thank you. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Thank you. I, th I feel for the first time I made the right decision. But these Telltale games, they do this weird thing where you do what seems right and then it just kind of, you know, stabs you in the back at the end. I love that about these games. It shows the unpredictability of real life. Sometimes you do you feel like you're doing all the right stuff and in the end it still screws someone over. You included. In the someone. The Bronx, huh? Oh. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Uh is it business? I'm looking for someone. Pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty. Not with the club. What closed. you mean? Not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. Exactly. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Is this like a male strip club? I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. Good to know. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Uh. I mean, more so than usual. Is he alone? Is he uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Okay. This should be interesting. Yeah, this definitely feels like a male strip club. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your uh, pleasure is our pleasure. Did you Your know Lily? desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. That's a yes. <laughs> Well, you're gonna have to censor that. Fox! What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a uh, shit. Who's gonna want that? Nice place. No one's gonna want that. Nice place. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of censoring to do. Smile. You never smile. Let's go straight to him and talk to him. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Uh, Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. You, Georgie? You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? <laughs> Tell you what. Get out of here. Back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or uh, knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? Uh, I'm not here you for that. Whatever you like, for the right price. I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Pretty much. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. He's a weird guy. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Uh. Do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. 
Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course he was, you dap git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamoured <laughs> to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People uh, give up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You're their own Oh, business. I didn't mean I to push the button. behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. I didn't mean to accuse them. Black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, yeah, try to scare people. That was an accident. But you've got fuck all to back it up. I do. I have no and we're information. we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Um, he used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Let's show him the hair. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? Oh, hey, if you say so. Just looks like hair to me. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Well, that's like that's who? clear. Try looking in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, now to do with me. <laughs> oh man, I ah. Oh. Go on then. Well, I have a ton of censoring in this episode. Uh, we're not done here. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? I'll shut this place Tell down. Tell me what I want to know, or I'll shut this whole place down. <laughs> oh, no, fuck. He did that to himself. I think he was trying to punch me. You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. What about the dude in the back? Fuck's sake. Yeah, him. He, he looks like he would talk. Hans, is it? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. You no don't know that. Knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? A fucking oh, moron. what a snitch. No. <laughs> there is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hans could beat his hey, ass. That's my personal property. Uh. Smash the book. <laughs> Tell me sure, about the book. Go ahead. Do what comes naturally. I hope I don't beat. I don't want to resort resort to beating anything or anyone. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. A little intimidation is I fine. Know. I don't agree with this, but uh, I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. I don't want to break anything, man. But Do I feel like... not touch that. You hear me? Uh, head it over while you still can. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, I just found something. Unintentionally. What is that, a well, safe? Well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? For fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Uh, give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. 
Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Come on. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. People are dead. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Give me the damn book. Oh, come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'll destroy this place. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. We did it. Without having to destroy anything. Haha. -ha. We got the key. Bloody come on, man. I don't think he has anything to do with this, to be fair. I think he's just an ass. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Yeah, but to be fair, he's he we don't know anything. But he just screams an ass, not a murderer, you know? This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. 207? What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Go ahead and complain. I didn't do anything wrong. Ooh, I like that image. Hello? Uh... Business office. Yeah, he's de he's definitely gonna complain. Ooh, yeah, we could possibly get some good information in here. What is all of this? Lipstick, lip gloss, compound. Nothing. Glitter. Nothing out of place, uh, considering the location. Is it gonna say the same thing? Okay, so. There's nothing to that. Although the bodies were Faith, glammed. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Uh oh. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that yeah. jibes with what the woodsman told me. Huh. Okay. So the woodsman is slowly clearing his name. Okay. So, what is this, Faith? Oh, someone broke into her little box thing. Let's look at that first, because that was the, by far the most suspicious. That's it? That's all you could tell me? This one, too, actually. Oh! Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Huh. Okay. I don't think we're going to get more information over Excuse there. Excuse me. Who's this? I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Uh, didn't have a reason. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. The ribbon on her neck. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Oh, it's Ariel. Once upon a time. Does that help? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Well, tell me about your legs. Can I still inquire about that? Uh, who's Mr. Smith? I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, a 
apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Maybe... It's how things work here. Maybe the victims talked about something. By design. People... Okay, yeah, let's keep quiet. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Well, I, that took a These different approach. Lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment? With oh, she's. Me? She's giving me something. Okay. Okay. What would I need to do? I'm I'm understanding what she's saying. It's not good to be short. Pay her? Do I have the money? Okay. Oh, I uh, I don't. Uh... I'm gonna get. She's gonna give me money to pay her. That's funny. Wait here for a second. Yeah, she paid for me. 204. Not 207? I understand what she's saying, though, I think. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. That, I get what she's saying. I hope you find what you're looking for. She just indirectly told me that it's a hotel room number and the hotel name oh man that was good quick cash checks cash money orders who's what's I'm assuming that's father and daughter or a possible corrupt cop I don't know no, it's definitely a corrupt cop. This is the hotel. Definitely a corrupt cop. I hate those guys. Makes the profession that I love dearly look bad, you know? For those of you guys that didn't know, I was a military police officer for a while. For the army. Yeah, she'll kill you. Well, at least, at bare minimum, possibly give you kidney stones over time. Uh, so I see the thing on the wall that has the room numbers. I don't want to check that quite yet. I should probably repair that. Did he say I should or they should? I don't want to do that yet. That's probably... And no. Okay, so let's check out this thing. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Okay. Do I want to do this? No refunds? All right, let's do it. Although, to be fair, it probably would have been better to just go you upstairs. For the hour or for the whole night? <gasps> oh, uh... You... I work here, okay? I did not I expect work the that. Front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. So I that's know the secret. I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You, regardless, you should Beast tell him. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. Yes, but By the you're way, driving him crazy. Thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Like, I get oh, it. You have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? 
Oh. Probably often. Oh, <laughs> yes, the the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Uh. Did you know Faith? Wait, did uh, did ever see Lily come with anyone? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. <laughs> I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to say one. That's funny. <laughs> uh, did you ever know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. I understand. I get it. You know, this circle option, have you ever seen snow here? Seeing this option here is kind of making me think that maybe it was nothing personal against snow. I'm thinking that maybe someone had a fantasy about snow. And that... And she was just basically randomly chosen because she was a, a fable. I. That's a little bit of a stretch, to be fair, but it's a possibility. But yeah, have you ever seen Snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Thanks. I mean, to be fair... <gasps> It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. That's... Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. Everything about that last line sounded like a sexual in a window. Five Listen, minutes. Baby, I assume Why not, Beauty? Filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see you report. I'm, I'm gonna have to tell just, the truth. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I agree. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Two o four. Although, three, four, I could. Uh, let's look at 207. Someone's definitely getting down. So yeah, that's 207. Let's take a listen. Okay, so it doesn't appear like there's anyone in there. Well, at least this doesn't sound like it. Uh, is this a knock? Okay, it is. Yeah, there's no one in there, so I kind of want to go in there. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot uh, of trouble. This is where you Lily was. Let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. Huh. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Oh, oh no. Shit. Beast? Big B? Oh my How god. Could you do oh, this to me? That's horrible. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been that's together through horrible. everything. I took care of you. I love It's not what you think. Please. Oh, this is such a misunderstanding. No, no, beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just uh, right. I'm on a case. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! 
Beast, man, I really don't. Ah! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. Oh God, I really don't want to fight him. She's my wife, Big I told you. Oh, I was not expecting this. Stop! This includes me. I don't want to fight him. No, this is breaking my heart. Beast, relax. I don't want to hit him. I just don't want to hit him. Did I die? Okay, yeah, I have to fight him. This is so horrible. I feel like crap, dude. I feel horrible, man. I really do. Such a bad misunderstanding. Oh no. I don't want to hit him. I pushed it. You ruined everything. She's my fucking wife! I, oh! It let me in! <sighs> Shit! What have you done? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. I hope he finally understands. Uh... Shh, stay outside, Beauty. Stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Why would she look? anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. You better apologize to your no. wife, Beast. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty? What? I'm notice not anything a strange? Prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't ordinary. <laughs> I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? I hope he he needs to apologize to his wife, man. He really does. I understand his Baby, anger, but he was what not kind listening. Of a person could do something like this. A That's exactly bad what I'm about to try person. to find out. This is pretty bad. Looks like it's stuck at noon I can't believe or maybe this. midnight. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so. Yes. Let's double check this. Maybe we can see something. It says it's stuck on 12. Um, okay. This is I definitely a... She was lying down when she was killed. It Flying kind of... Here. How do you know that? It kind of looks like a sacrifice. Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The yep. body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't imagine it's an investigation though to be fair we shouldn't even be in here and we don't know if it was her we just know she stayed in this room what is that beautiful it's a book about snow white or about the Monday version of her story anyway yeah this is I think my assumption was correct at least starting to feel that way I think whoever killed Lily had an obsession with Snow White 
and maybe it was just I don't know the whole book is about her yeah was she breathing why is she in a glass coffin this is the part where she's in a deep sleep but they think she's dead she's but that's what happened What's it mean? Everyone thought Why she was dead. Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Was she breathing? Yeah, the bed matches the coffin with the uh, flowers. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? Yeah. In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. It is. A coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Honestly, this puts Snow in an even bigger situation where she might be in even bigger danger than I thought if her, his <sighs> obsession is that bad. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Huff and puff. He brought wine. Classy. Okay, what is this? <sighs> oh, the cassette. For my arrival. Uh. I want to see what's in here. It's the clothing. It's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then, and then he took it back off? Uh... No, there's yeah, no blood. Yeah, I was about to say that. It must have been torn some other time. Which means... What? What are a, you thinking? a regular. Looks like Snow's costume. This is the same dress as the one in the book about Snow. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just a uh, person. We can't we really can't know. know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Okay, so I want to listen to this tape. She must have been so scared. All right. I will talk to Beauty if I could in a second. I need to make my way over to the tape, though. The tape player. It's just the story. Legit, this is pretty creepy, man. Big beat this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. It's possible. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Hmm. Damn it. Get it together, beauty. It's I think I need to talk to her. Um. How do I find out who rents uh the who rents his who rents the room? How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key. I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term, and we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I mean, I figured that, but I keep hearing that. Uh, anything else you could tell me? Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. That just screams how dangerous this place is. I don't want to accuse her of anything or make her feel uncomfortable because I feel like she has been pretty... Uh, cooperative. So right now I'm just going to continue investigations. Perhaps I can find something else.
I hope at least. Oh wait, what is this? How did I miss this? Do you smell something? It's an apple. No, just apple. From the story. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Uh it's like the apple in the book. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. Of course it does. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. Yeah, I know, is so that a compliment? <laughs> or a low key had insult? All the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. To be fair, you didn't really have to stay in here. I would have preferred if you stayed out of... Whoa, what's this? What is this? What do we have here? It's an envelope, it looks like. Oh, God. Yeah, dude, this obsession is... Are those pictures of the dead girl? It's unsettling for sure. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. That means he's this kind of stalking. It doesn't just stop by itself. I agree. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so the next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew he had something to do with this. So, to be fair, we don't know he's the murderer. We don't know he's the murderer yet. He could be after you now. Good. I we just know that he's to connected to the crime scene. Disgusting weasel. A strong connection. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Oh, crap. I am going to shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Oh, snap. All right, let me see. Let's, uh, let's go through all of this and see how we did. Uh, how did you respond to Crane? Uh, about death, 60% of players sympathized with him. How did you tr Wait a minute. That... Man, I, I knew he... There was something off about him. But again, we just know he has this obsession. Uh, so much so that he went out to play out, you know, stories of the of the story and stuff like that of the book we don't know he murdered for all we know he left uh to go get some coffee or something i don't know and someone potentially came in murdered the victim right we don't know he's the killer we just know that there's a very very strong connection to to the to the murder uh how did you treat the murder suspect you and 64 percent of players persuaded him to talk did you let Snow come with you to the trip house? Uh, make her own decision. Okay, that's good. Uh, how did you handle Georgie Porgy? Uh, you and 69 per, uh, didn't hit Georgie. Okay, that's that's pretty good. 
it's a weird number, but okay. Did you keep punching Beast when he was thrown down? You and 8.9% never had Beast at your mercy. Um, okay. All right, man. This was a definitely heavy-duty chapter, man. Let's continue, though.